I'm uh, Michael Hansford. Um, I guess partially known as the Raspberry Heaven, and um, this is supposed to be a type of way for me to more so reflect on what's been happening and what's happened and um, what I hope the future holds for me and the people that are involved in this, the person behind the camera and that kind of stuff. And I'm about to release an album called uh, Nation Meadows and it's uh, going to be a nine track album that's going to be a lot different than what most people have heard before. It's going to be, you know, not not as much acoustic guitars, and it's going to be, I would say, a lot fuzzier and heavier, and a lot. My influences are going to come out a lot more. Um, growing up in Midland, all the shows that ever happened were just punk and thrash shows. The only bands that ever came around were bands like. Dead and Divine, or Kingdoms, or like, maybe sometimes Bill Scarlet, sometimes, and I kind of just grew up in that in that scene. Like, I didn't really listen to much acoustic stuff when I when I first recorded my first EP in in Oakville. It was in a dorm room at Sheridan Tech, and the only things we could do were acoustic songs and. I guess one of the greatest mistakes I kind of made, and I always kind of beat myself up, beat myself up about, is that I labeled myself nonchalantly as an acoustic musician. This, this album's gonna, well, I hope this album kind of puts that into the past. Like, I'm not, I'm not regretful about having that album or having released it, but I regret people coming up to me at a bar or something saying like, oh, I can't wait for some soft new lovemaking tunes to come out with this full length when this full length isn't that at all. It's more everything has been, has been leading up to this album for me, and my close friends know what I mean by that, and I really hope that I don't lose a lot of people that like what I've recorded, I hope that they kind of come with me and, f and follow that, and I have some of the greatest people in, in my band at my live shows backing me up and supporting me through the times where I've been unsure about, you know, screaming in a song now because I'm scared sometimes about maybe people um, thinking that I'm just trying to go with some sort of tough guy, hardcore scene when I don't think I'm trying to do that. I just think that I want to do things that are very comfortable for me and uh, things that come very natural for me. Um, I've lived in London now for almost two years and I think I've grown a lot and I think I've learned a lot about what music is to me and what I really want to do. Before I get too deep into it, I want to actually be able to just be like, this is what I want to do and this is what I hope to keep doing. And um, ARC clothing are really helping me too with that and they know what I'm going to be releasing and they're ready for it. And once, once it comes out, whenever it comes out, hopefully it comes out before summer of 2013, um, I think there's going to be a lot of changes in everything 
that the Raspberry Heaven's about. Um, I think people are going to kind of forget about Loyola for a bit. And that's not bad. That's okay. Um, I haven't been playing many shows, and I think some people have thought I was, like the Raspberry Heaven was dead or wasn't around when the truth is I was just working a lot and I was figuring myself out because in the last few months I've been dealing with a lot of um, self-analyzing uh, and questioning things that I've done and realizing that things that can hurt you can really shut you down for a while but that doesn't mean it's not going to be able to bring you back up to make you stronger and the things you create are going to be built on all those things that hurt you and you don't need to to tell people you don't you don't need those feelings that you actually need to be like i gotta tell someone about this because if i just have it in my head all the time i'm going to suffer and i don't i don't think that's going to happen i think that i think you can get rid of that suffering by creating things that come naturally to you and that's what i think nation meadows is going to be about and i really hope that this album really makes people understand that because the word nation means something first coming into existence not yet ready but absorbing light and, so, and it, like absorbing heat and cold and being formed and a meadow kind of relates to a very quiet place a very isolated place and I think this album has a lot of fear and a lot of anger and a lot of rage but at the same time a lot of love so it's a very humane album and not really I don't really care if people don't like it um, I've had some friends that have already heard some songs and I've already loved it and I've had people actually already cry listening to unmastered material so I'm pretty 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 nervous in a happy way if that makes any sense about releasing this especially releasing it as an independent and not on a label. I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to see where it goes.